today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at my Notion setup and give you an exclusive tour of a system I have been teasing for months now. Some of you guys have heard me talk about how I organized my life in Notion and how it's made me so much more productive and given me so much mental clarity and today I'm going to be showing you everything. I have tried everything from Trello to Monday.com to Asana to Evernote and I could tell you that this system is really the most organic fit and has brought so much more freedom to my life. And truly the game changed for me when I started focusing on actionability in my system so I can intentionally get things done. So the way I organize my life and my work is based on the tried and true systems of a lot of research but also a lot of noteworthy books. To name the main ones, it would be The 12 Week Year, Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte, also The Para Method by Tiago Forte, and specifically Getting Things Done by David Allen. And I'll put the key principles of getting things done up on the screen but the key tenets of David Allen's book getting things done which is an OG you probably have heard of is about a proven methodology system to help you be more productive by getting things out of your head really and capturing them in a system that works for you so getting those ideas those tasks those projects all of the things out of your head and into this system that helps you take better action and he prescribes doing that through a process of capturing, clarifying, organizing, reflecting, and engaging. And then Tiago Forte's books take the information and all the research and the proven strategies from getting things done and helps you implement them into a digital system. So he has written the books, The Second Brain and The Para Method that help you actually make the systems and getting things done more actionable in our digital world. And specifically, he recommends using the Para Method to implement these strategies to really help you focus on actionability so you can be more productive. I'll put up on the screen a spectrum of the actionability ability from for the para method it goes from projects areas resources and our archive and I'm going to show you in my notion setup how I implement all of this in my own second brain so let me show you where the magic happens Okay guys, so I have jumped into my system so you can actually see the system that is truly 10x my productivity. And just a note, if you want this system for yourself, you're welcome to take screenshots and copy it for yourself. Or of course, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I have a Notion template of this exact system linked in the description below. Everything is all linked together. It's interconnected you can customize it all the bells and whistles for you. So you're gonna see the side of my head a little bit because I have two monitors, but let's jump in. First, can we appreciate the aesthetics? Aesthetics truly matter. Don't let anyone tell you different. When you walk into a system that's supposed to help you feel mental clarity and organization, you want it to look good and it makes you feel better and you're more likely to use it. So I set, this is my actual personal one that I use. I also have the template for you guys that doesn't have obviously all my personal information, but it's built with the same aesthetics in mind. So I just wanted to point that out. That was really important to me when creating this and before for sharing it with you guys. So at the beginning of my system, I have my quick actions. That way, if I'm using Notion from my phone, everything is easy for me to access. Also on my iPad, I use this as well. So you can quickly add a task, a project, set unscheduled tasks for today. So if I'm behind and I wanna move everything to today so I can know what I'm working with, I can do that and I can quickly add a note as well to my notes hub. At the beginning, this is your dashboard. This is the dashboard that I use. It has the time just to keep me oriented, the time and date, as well as a Pomodoro clock if I have this open and I wanna work and use the timer. And also just a place to brain dump any to-dos that you might have for the day if you are just having one of those days where you haven't time blocked and you just want to get things out of your head. Then if you move down, we get into the para method system that I use from Tio Forte's The Second Brain, as well as all the tenets of getting things done. So it starts with tasks. I also have my projects, areas, resources, and archives. So let's jump into the task section, which is going to be the most efficient to-do list you have ever used. So I'm gonna show you the template since my personal one, let me just make sure my mic is on. So I'm gonna show you the template one for this one since my personal one is full of all my personal tasks. Um, this is the 
the template one that you'll see. So I'm gonna go to the task one. Okay, this is the task page. It starts with the navigation bar here at the top and then this capture section for you. You have the ability to quickly add a task and then set any unscheduled tasks for today. Then when you scroll down, it moves into the inbox. This is all your unprocessed tasks. So whenever I'm on my phone or just on the go and I need to add a task to my second brain, I don't have to process it then right then and there. I can leave it in the inbox status and then when I do my Friday planning I can process it and either schedule it do it if it can be done in two minutes or less or I can put a note that it needs to be scheduled next or done next so this first part is going to help you when you are looking at your schedule and you need to know what you need to do next that's going to populate this syncs also with each project that you're doing that you're, we're going to look at in just a second. So when I put my projects in here, you can link tasks. So this is one of the project examples. You can link the task for each project because the project is a, a multiple task with a deadline and it'll sync to your task list. That when your way, when you're scheduling things out, you have all the things you need to get done. You can also, it's also interconnected with related resources to that project and notes, which we'll talk about. So then under the inbox, you have your active tasks. These are things that essentially have been processed. So they're either in the process of being done. You have a note to do them next. You have a note to schedule them or they've already been scheduled. So they're active. And then to have like a bird's eye view of all the things you have going on, you have your complete task list, which I love as well. And then underneath is where I have my past due task, a list. So if I quickly need to see, okay, what am I behind on? You have a list right there and you also have a calendar view of your task. So that is your really efficient to-do list. Let's move into the para method. Again, all of this is based on actionability. The task is very closely linked to David Allen's capture process of getting things done. And then this para method is really related to having this second brain. So have you ever wondered how high achievers juggle multiple projects without dropping the ball? I want to show you how I do that inside my Notion second brain. So let's go to projects. Let me just show you mine. This is actually all the projects that I have in here for now. So you'll see at the beginning, at the top of this, you have your kind of your dashboard or all the things that link to everywhere else in the second brain. So if you just want to go back, you also have a nice little education piece on what a project is in the system to help you distinct that from areas because that's going to be really important. This system works because it's based on actionability. So you don't want to start confusing projects in different areas of your life what we'll talk about in a moment. A project really is um, a system that is a, a group of tasks with a deadline and kind of a one-off versus like an ongoing thing. I have my list of projects here, which you'll see in yours as well. I have my inbox, things that haven't been processed that are ideas. They're not in the someday maybe category, which I have hidden here, but they are things that I want to do in the like near quarter that I wanna keep top of mind. So my brand shoot, organizing my linen closet, which I've already kind of started that. I'm gonna move that here because I've bought stuff for it. <laughs> and then we have our not started. So new product funnel, uh, goal getters accountability group that I'm working on, which is going to be way, way down the pipeline for now. I'm doing it on YouTube lives. My notion product development is in the process and organizing my linen closet. So these are projects that are in the works that I have. And like I said, let me show you a example one from the template so that you can really see what it looks like. So you have all your projects, your inbox, you're not starting, you're in progress, and then also your someday maybes. And then if we look inside of one, again, it's all interconnected so you can relate it to an area of your life. You can tag uh, related notes that you've written that are related to this project resources. So if it's like a home repair and you have different articles, maybe about bathroom renovations, things like that, or contacts, it could all be connected in one. And again, those tasks that you list out for the project are in your task list and they're connected. So that's projects, pretty straightforward. Let's go back to my personal second brain and you will see next in that actionability. So we have tasks that's immediately actionable, then projects, next 
next to the action building line. Then you have your areas. These can be thought of as areas of life improvement or areas of your life that are not necessarily a project, but kind of ongoing areas in your life. You also have a quick view of it here on the dashboard, but let me click into this area as folder of my own so you can see what it looks like for me. I have a YouTube and social media. Yes, that is actionable, but it's kind of an ongoing thing uh, in my business. It's not something like a project that has an end date. I have my business development things that I'm working on, my family life, so things for my kids, my husband, things for the home projects, things like that may be connected there. I have my affiliate marketing, my routines. This one is an area of my life but could also be in the resource section. The reason I put it here is because it is highly personal. It's not something that I would share with someone. Like resources you can think of is you could just send out one of those folders to a person. Areas of your life are more personalized and probably have personal information. Then I have personal, that's where I have all my notes for therapy. I have like my health stuff for my BRCA2 gene. I also have a folder for my neuropsych uh, duties as a neuropsychologist. I have a a folder for my goals, which we can tap into this a little bit. I do a lot of my goal planning in my Mon Ambition Planner, which has a goal planner and a 90 day planner. I do my bird's eye, long vision, goal planning in the goal section of the planner. And then I do the day-to-day -day work of time blocking, weekly planning, monthly planning in there as well because it's very hands-on. I can't get in the nitty gritty. But I do use the strategies, like I mentioned, of the book, The 12 Week Year, and I have learned that I like to have a bird's eye view instead of just writing it like what I was doing before. I do still have a free PDF template if you are into just getting started. But if you want a robust system or tracking your 12 week year coming with the strategy, I'm going to show you guys my 12 week year template now. Okay. So this is a blank copy. I do also have this down in the description below a link for this. If you want to use this same strategy for your own 12 week year, I have this exact template below and this is the blank copy. So starting off, I have just a reminder of the entire system here, just a summary of the tenets of the book, The 12 Week Year. If whenever I need a refresh, that's there for me and for you if you download this template. And then you have an opportunity to do your vision work. So the 12 week year really stresses having that vision. I do much of this, like I said, in my goal planner, but this is helpful to kind of work on the extra tenets specifically from the book, the 12 week year. So if I come into this, you see there's some prompts and some questions to help you get going on your own. And then you can have prompts and questions also for your vision. I also have a link to the planner if you wanna get that to do just some deeper work and use evidence-based psychology. And then we have the nitty gritty of how I track my goals. So in this section, you'll see the actual quarterly goals that I have. Again, this is an example one. If you click inside the goal, you have a little bit of work to help you get at this goal. I also have the work that I do in my goal planner for this. So that is where the actual goals are stored. Then here, what I love is this gives you the progress of how far you are in the month, the quarter, and the year just so you can be oriented to time, especially when we're getting closer to the quarter ending and you need that light of fire under your butt. This is just helpful to have that overview. And then this is the section where you do most of the strategy. I have a calendar and a pretty picture here too, to keep us just happy. But let's go into the quarterly goals strategy that I have. You're not gonna find this in any Notion template out there for the 12 week year. And this is something that I'm really proud of because it's so useful and why I moved my system from um, my 12 week year scorecard PDF to Notion because I needed this bird's eye view of the strategy for each of my quarterly goals. For my quarterly goals, you're gonna list out what that goal is, making it very like actionable by Q4. This is an example. I'm gonna gain 100 subscribers on YouTube. And then you're also gonna note down just to make sure you're staying on track, what yearly goal is that related to or what larger goal is that related to. And then for each quarterly goal, you're gonna come up with a strategy plan 
plan for this goal. For this example, the person wants to do videos to reach this goal. They want to go live and they want to find a video editor. So month one, they have each specific lead goal that's going to help them or monthly priority that's going to help them get to this quarterly goal. So for month one, they're going to post four videos, go live once a month and create a job listing for that editor. Month two, they're going to post five videos. They're going to keep going live once a month and trial two editors to work with. And then month three, they're going to up it up to post six videos going live twice a month and making the final decisions on the editor. So you can see how this really helps you lay out for each quarterly goal, what are going to be your monthly priorities and what are you going to do each month to hit those? So that's what I really like using this system for. So I can keep coming back to that bird's eye view. And then if you go back to the dashboard, you have your weekly scorecard for those monthly priorities. So this is what I like to do on Fridays when I'm planning my week. You just go through each lead goal, which are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely for those monthly priority goals that you've set out for yourself. And what I like about this is you can check stuff off during the week as you're doing it. And then you can just hit this button to reset everything, which is very convenient and you don't have to write it out again. That is the goal planning area that I have within mine. I also have a little quote here. I want to show you guys a blank template in case you are interested in using this for yourself. Let's jump back into the rest of my second brain. So we've looked at tasks, projects, areas. Now let's take a look at resources. I will show you guys my actual one that I have now. So the way that I like to divvy this up is into different categories of resources that I use. And then within that, you can have additional folders and categories to break it up even more. But I have common links that I refer to or that I need to paste, book recommendations of things I wanna read next, affirmations and mantras, recipes, content education with this little cute doggy, and email templates from different things that I've bought over the years of helping me build out my email and things like that. I also have a small little folder here for older resources, things that are not using this system that uh, Tiago Forte really recommends you just archive that. If you need it, you'll bring it into your system as you move forward. So you can just kind of get started with this quickly and just move from the day, just jump right in and then move on from the day after. And you can always search for things as well. And then going back to the template, just so all my personal stuff isn't there, this is the archive of the system. Anytime you archive a task, it'll be here if you need to reference it, a project, a resource, a note, all those things. You also have this notes hub, just like your notes app, if you want to use that. On the dashboard, you also have this task calendar, which you can toggle up and down if you don't want to see it. You have your active areas to see at a glance on your dashboard, the weather, you can change this to wherever you are. And then your project calendar at the bottom, some favorite resources. So in the resources tab, you have the opportunity within resources to click a little favorites button. If you do that in the template, it will show up on your dashboard. And then at the bottom, you just have a daily habit tracker. So that is my super simple yet super productive notion set up. But if you know the tenets of getting things done, you know that this is just the beginning. You actually have to do the work and engage with that system, as David Allen calls it. If you really wanna know how I implement this system with other systems in my life to be productive as I can and actually take action on the things that I've created mental space for, I've teed up a video for you to watch next on all my life organization system that keeps me productive.